Try to start the day every day with thoughts of goodwill. You set your intention right, and then try to maintain that. After all, the, the Buddha said goodwill is a form of mindfulness. It is something you have to keep in mind, because it's so easy to forget when someone does something irritating or does something that you think is really wrong. To have thoughts of ill will for that person. And then when you have thoughts of ill will, then it comes out in words of ill will and actions of ill will. So you have to be very careful. Try to keep in mind that you're trying to find a happiness that harms nobody. Because that's the only kind of happiness that's going to last. So in all of your actions, you have to have goodwill for the people you're dealing with. So get started with thoughts of goodwill in all directions. In the canon they talk about sending thoughts to different directions, east, west, north, south, above and below, all around. And that places you in the middle. Of course, it emphasizes how important your actions are. We live in a world where the, our screens tell us that all the important things are happening someplace else, over on the other side of the world. Other people doing things that we're not involved in, yet they're, they're important, we're not. That's what they tell us. If not explicitly, at least implicitly. Whereas the Buddhist message is that you are important right now for your life, for your well-being. What's important what is what you're doing right now. So establish yourself in the center. And think of the world around you, east, west, north, south, above and below. And think of goodwill radiating out of your heart. And ask yourself if there are any people out there who it's hard to have goodwill for. And some people may come to mind. And you remind yourself, what does it mean? It means you hope that they will understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. That means if they've been behaving in an unskillful way, you'll be happy to see them change their behavior. Preferably of their own free will. And then you're happy to help them in whatever way you can in that direction. Once you've established this, okay, then you've got yourself well established for the day. Just keep it in mind, even as you're meditating on the breath, you remind yourself that the reason you're meditating on the breath is because you have goodwill for yourself and you have goodwill for others. If you're finding happiness out from your own breath, you're not taking anything away from anyone else. Then you're establishing the mind even more firmly in its mindfulness. So the goodwill is our motivation. Then we apply our motivation as we go through the day in our formal meditation, in our informal meditation. In other words, the way you meditate as you go through the activities of the day. And that way this wish for true happiness can have a chance. Otherwise you keep destroying it and then you wonder why you're not truly happy. You have to look at your actions, you have to look at your attitudes. They're the important factor. Don't be all kind, he's a bad die.